Hello everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode of Things You May Not Know About LOL. A weekly show about tips and tricks you just might not know about LOL. The first thing you may not know about LOL is that there are some walls that you can flash through that you wouldn't think you could. The first, there are loads of walls in the map which are really thick and you may not think you can normally flash through. Here's a few of them. First of all, over here by Baron. Second of all, over here in mid lane. Thirdly, down in either bottom or top lane where the river meets the lane. Fourthly, through the red wall. And finally, in the middle lane near the second tower, you can flash through that wall there. These are all really nice spots that you can flash through and maybe get a gank. The second thing you may not know about LOL is that you should activate predictive movement. Predictive movement is located under the more options tab on the menu. Now it's not entirely clear what this will do, but from what I understand, in circumstances of high latency, your actions will be carried out on your screen instead of having to wait for the server to process any commands. This feature is aimed at improving performance in high latency circumstances. What it can also do is improve the hitbox of skill shots which may result in enemies being hit by spells they apparently dodged. It's definitely worth having this box ticks as I don't really see a downside to it. Maybe in low latency games you might see a frame rate change, but I think it should be fine. The third thing you may not know about LOL is that you can activate items in your backpack by pressing numbers. Here I have all six slots of my item filled up and to use my ghost blade I simply press 1 on the number pad. To use my ward I press 2. To use my vision ward I press 3. And to activate the red potion 4, the blue potion 5 and the green potion I press 6. These can save you time, these can be used for any items that have a use function. The fourth thing you may not know about LOL is that Mordkaiser's pet blocks champion specific spells, such as Caitlyn's ultimate. This handy little tip is applicable to champion only spells such as Ash's arrow or in this video Caitlyn's ultimate. The pet is considered a champion and will absorb attacks. As you can see, I position the enemy Soraka in the path of the Caitlyn bullet to protect myself from taking any unnecessary damage. The final thing you may not know about LOL is that you can switch the location of where the minimap is. Now to simply do this, you go to Escape, More Options, and then you select Flip Minimap. Now what this will do is it will put the minimap on the left hand side and put your items on the right hand side. This is useful if you're used to playing Dota or Hon, where the map is always located on the left. So if it feels more comfortable, you can move the map there. It does feel more comfortable, but I probably won't keep it there because I'm too used to playing League of Legends. So if you've just come from Dota or Hon, this is a useful little tip where you can move the map onto the left hand side. Thanks for watching the fourth episode of Things You May Know About LOL. I hope some of these have been helpful for you. I hope you've enjoyed some stuff, uh, learnt some new things. I definitely know I have. Yep, well. As always. Yep, that's what we're here for. And uh, well, subscribe for more videos and stay tuned for the next episode. Goodbye. Yep. Stay tuned. Next video coming out is all weekly, Thursday. Yep. Stay tuned. Bye.